Hey guys, and welcome to today's training. I hope you like it. Okay, uh, today's training, how to evaluate and compare social posts. So this is a deep dive into engagement rate, basically, and how to compare posts for engagement. So it's actually important to note that this isn't about comparing posts for cost per lead or about getting clients. This is really about comparing page posts by engagement, which is likes, comments, and shares. Um, it can be done on ads as well, but just know that it's all actually about your objective. If you've set up your ads with an objective to engage, to get the most engagement from your users and from your reached users, then this is the best way to compare posts. If you are talking about leads and conversions, then there are other and better ways to calculate your ads and how good each one is and compare them. So this one is just about engagement. Cool, so the best way to compare posts by engagement is to find out an engagement rate, and that is the number of people who have engaged versus those who have been reached. So if you think about yourself in the feed, you might be scrolling along on your phone and you see a post, then you're automatically now counted as a reached user. So the next thing you might do after you've looked at the post and read it a little bit is decide to engage. You might like, you might comment on the photo or the video, or you might share it. So each one of those is counted as an engagement. Now what we want to determine is, just as you did in, in the feed, is how many of those reached users, how many of those people that we reach do actually engage. And that, that's how we can tell how engaging a post is and then therefore compare it against another post. What's really powerful about the engagement rate is that it doesn't matter how many people were reached on post A versus post B. If we can distill it down to a, a rate, then we can find out how engaging that post is compared to another post. So that's perfect for us. Now, engagement rate engagements over reached users seems a little bit out there. So um, just distilling that down a little bit, it's actually really, really easy. What it is, is the total number of likes, comments, and shares over the reached users. So that there, we want to kind of figure out how many, if we've had one like, one share, and one comment, so that would be, and if you grab out your calculator, um, along with me here. So one like, one comment, and one share is three. If we reached 100 users with that post, we'd divide it by 100, and then that num that figure there is 0 0.03. If we then times that by 100 to get the rate there, we've got a 3% engagement rate. And as you can see on the screen there, 1% is what we'd really be aiming for. So what you want to ascertain is whether post A versus post B had a better or worse engagement rate, as in it was more engaging or less engaging than the other, and then you can decide which post to continue with or which one to pull down or which one to even put money behind, depending on what your objective is of your campaign or your always on content there. Cool. So let's have a look now in Facebook as to how we might do that. So I've got the Yezu Business Coaching for Wellness Practices page up here. And I've just got this quick little video of Ben here about creating your, your About Me video. So this post here, as you can see at the bottom here where my finger pointer is highlighting here, it's got 223 people who have been reached. It's got 27 views, which will park for the moment. And it's got one love reaction, which for ease of everything, we'll count that as a like per se. And we've also got a comment there, which is uh, pretty nice there for, for Ben there. Um, so what we're going to do there is calculate that one comment plus one like equals... 2 divided by the people reached, 223, that figure is 0 0.0089. If we then times that by 100, we get 0 0.89. Now, that is then, therefore, an engagement rate of 0.89%. Okay? So, just to recap on that one, we'll go down a little bit um, on the page, and you can do this with any one of your posts as well. So, now, if we look at this post, it's not a video, it's actually a status post. So Ben has posted a quote here. So we've got 61 people reached and we've got two likes there. So we would put two into the calculator, divided by 61, the amount of reached users, and times it by 100. This is 3.27%. So, sorry, just times it by 100 just to get the rate there. So if you think about the first post to the second post, the first post only got 0.89% engagement rate, whereas the second post got three point, almost 3.3% 3 .3 engagement rate. So if I had to back one of those posts with money as to get more engagement out of the two posts, 
I think I would be backing the second post because it's got a much better engagement rate. And that is despite whether it had media money on it already or whether it was a video post or an image post or one post had wildly more reach than the other one as the first one had 200 people reach and the second one had 61 people reach. So that just allows us to distill down what we might want to look at and how we can compare both the engagement rates of both posts without having to think about other factors like the format of the post, the placement of the ad, um, how much money was put on it, how much reach it achieved, the timing of the post. So all that sort of stuff can be distilled down into just one quick figure, which is the engagement rate. And you can do this across all channels, even if you like, all social channels. The average engagement rate that you want to attain there is 1%. Cool. Um, just a little add on onto this training is that you can also go through the ads manager. So I'm just in the ads, ads manager for Yezu here, and I'm just looking at one post in particular, not to make it too confusing. We've got www.facebook.com and then you just want to write forward slash ads forward slash manager. And if you do that there and just press enter, um, it'll send you into your ad manager account and you'll be able to look at the advert overview. So if you have a look there and then you can click across the campaign, the ad set and the ad section. Now any one of these is going to be really helpful for you but what you want to do is look into the ad section and then have a look at your total reach and any engagements on that post and then as we did before calculate engagements over reach. So on this post I've actually um, I've set it up for video views here and for, th for three second video views which is 572, so I won't be able to calculate engagement rate on this post exactly, but if you were going to do it for any one of your other posts, it will, would be really easy to pull the likes, comments and shares and divide it over the top of reach. Cool. Thank you. For